Hello everyone, welcome to How to Do It. In this video, we'll see how Soho form works and we'll do a deep dive in all the components in Soho form. So let's get started. So to go to Zoho Forms, just type in Zoho Forms and then click on Forms. Now I'll just click on Sign In. So I'll just sign into my Zoho account. So to create a new form, just click on New Form here and then type in a form name. I'll just type in Test Form. And the description is optional, so we don't need to put in that. So I'll click on create. So on the left, we have multiple options that we can add, like a single line, then a multi line, and a number, then decimal, name, address, phone number, email, date, time, date, time, decision box, drop down radio multiple choice checkbox website currency file upload image upload section page break slider ratings description so for description we'll have to add in some content now if i just click on done it will just show add content here then if we click on unique id it will ask us what should it start from the prefix and suffix prefix means this will be prependent to the unique id like say if i type in a as the prefix it will be prepended to one and then suffix this will be appended to the unique id so i will type in b here and then click on the so let's go through them one by one so this single line if we just click on the single line it will just give us some options to type in the detail now if we type in name here and the instruction that you want to give like this is kind of a small description we have the field size that is small medium large initial value which should be empty by default we can set the character limit the default is 255 characters we can set the validations like mandatory and no duplicates we can also hide field or disable field we can also mark as personal we can add qr inputs and barcode inputs as well and then if you click on save the field will be saved here we can see name here same for the multi line if you click on this we'll see options that can be configured so i'll not configure all this field another feature is that we can also drag and drop the questions wherever we want in the form let's say i want to put this multi line after the decimal so i'll just drag and drop it here the unique thing about zo forms is that we get these type of fields already built for us like the name where we get in first name and last name the address where we get in the street address address line to city state zip code and country all at just a click of a button so now our form is ready so to share this form we'll just click on share and then click on this button right here now what it does is it enables the public link of the form so anyone on the internet could access this form now we'll copy this url and just paste it into a new tab so here you can see the form has been created so this was all on how to create a zoho form hope you like the video please do like and subscribe thank you